Good afternoon. So my topic is that uh, role of uh, private sector in Odisha's economy. Basically, this paper is divided into three parts, and it is a working paper. Still, we are working. The empirical part uh, we'll do after this. So, uh, like when you talk about, because there is a uh, two school of thought. Since I know, like some people, they want they want private investment. So, first part of that we'll talk about why the private investment is required. And the second part will actually explain how this endogenous growth theory actually support like private private investment. The third part I will do a little bit of time series analysis by where we will show like how private investment actually leads to more growth and also uh, also by using the time series analysis also by using Arima Bhar uh, and we will do a little bit of forecasting. So that is our plan uh, that we tend to do that. So uh, the first part, uh, actually, I want to explain why like private investments is required in the state like uh, Odisha. That, that, that you know that fiscal deficit is 3.29 for the year 2021-22. And, and also it is estimated that the fiscal deficit will be 3% in 2022 So that's why to, you know, to like reduce the burden of fiscal deficit, the private uh, investment is the only instrument which actually actually Will, will reduce the private investment and this happen in case of develop um, developing countries and developed countries the second merit of like private investment that it has a great spillover effect so when you go for international trade literature there are two types of spillover effect one is a, a vertical spillover effect another is horizontal spillover effect so when the investment come to the particular sectors that investment benefited and the bishop is that that input that other sector which are actually providing the input to that sector also that also expand in terms of employment productivity and other sectors so that's why that uh, like international trade theory is telling that it has a great that spillover effect and the second thing is that that the third point is it actually that when the private investment gives in the in the competitive price that day in the inaugural sessions uh, mr panchan sar was telling like only I only wear the dhoti and all others like all the product is actually from the uh, like a, a MNC product. But the, the thing is that when that that indigenous product or local product, you cannot actually produce in the competitive price. So people will be forced to using that, that MNC product. So that's why. And another thing is that actually it create more employment also. In creating more employment also, there is a two school of thought. Like when the FDI was coming, the people are telling that uh, that it will sink the uh, unemployment because it will steal out that is a stealing out effect which will actually that uh, small small um, uh, like entrepreneur it will kill but what it will see in the long term that employment in overall analysis we have done and that in long term actually in, uh, it increases employment also the third uh, that the next point is that in the industrial set, in the industrial economy there are a lot of like uh, industry it has uh, become the sick industry and due to the private investment that mergers acquisition happens and that industry has taken over by the private company that if i give the same best example is satyam company when there is a satyam fraud was there so mahindra actually taken over and that it is uh, doing well so if the private investment is not there then they, it will go to for sick industry then then it will be actually uh, it, it will create for the economy uh, like uh, economy then the third point, that last next point is actually it reduce the poverty. As you know that when there will be more growth, there more employment, then poverty will reduce and increase export. As you told that the private investment, that uh, government, BJP government is telling that every district that will be a, a, one indigenous product that they have like what they are doing. That is a different things, but they have objective that every district has their one, own one district one product one product so in that case that when the private uh, investment will actually invest that export will increase and also the four things that what sar was talking about that urbanization that when that the private private investment comes the urbanization actually increase so when the urbanization will increase the people who are not getting job in the like like rural area they shift to the urban area their uh, that income uh, increases also, if you'll see that also export uh, increases 
and uh, um, there are uh, due to the this investment that a lot of greenfield investment happens due to the greenfield investment that uh, productivity and efficiency of the economy um, increases and the second the last point is that if you want to if you want for a double digit growth so without private investment it's not uh, possible because government has you know that government has actually fiscal deficit is there so for uh, actually doing that what we have done that odisha economic uh, survey we have taken one feel actually what can be done because that uh, that uh, third part of analysis will be a time series analysis which will do by using that uh, by taking one model where we'll take state, state gdp as a dependent variable remittance gift and grant fdi and aid are independent variable since fdi in the uh, state wise not available so we'll calculate for department of bipp that is a department of industry and policy promotions so that is a record is there so every month i have to calculate how much like uh, um, requests are coming for uh, like uh, private investment and how how much it is actually realized and there are diff different reason why it is not realized because there are two routes one is automatic route another is rbi route due to some political reason also some uh, is uh, some uh, private investment is not actually fruitful so that calculation will do and that empirical analysis actually will do and here i am fbi farm means so i am i mean that 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 private farms which has that share more than 10% of that equity is considered as the fbi farm so all these farms which are 10 percent equity you can consider though even if they have 20 30 50 percent up to 50 percent that we will consider the fda firm on the basis of that we will actually con construct that uh, this uh, um, um, multiple regression for impact analysis and also for like our forecasting analysis so forecasting analysis will use arima var for linear techniques for long techniques, we'll use a hybrid model that is artificial neural network uh, uh, model. But uh, but before that, actually, we uh, since I don't work on uh, like in Odisha economy, so I basically work in cross-sectional uh, uh, cross-sectional panel data. So we have deeply studied that like uh, this uh, economy survey of uh, Odisha. So there, from what I can see that like that uh, that uh, per capita income of india and uh, odisha so it is pretty good that per capita income is uh, going uh, nicely but only apart from that covid sucks you can see in the 2020-21 so when the poor that a uh, economy has that per capita it, it may be imbalance uh, like uh, growth because per capita income is average figure maybe the possible that in kalahandi it is not increasing but bhuvan is increasing that is the demerit of this figure but the thing is that we can have the more per capita in, uh, investment in case of like uh, if there is a more private investment. So nowadays actually more private investment is also not coming in case of like fintech industry and digital technology. So if there will be more financial technology that is more uh, like um, investment in also financial technology and uh, like uh, um, in um, uh, financial technology and uh, what we call uh, digital technology then it will also have a more impact on the economy so so the uh, ultimately that per capita income will increase so if you'll see that share of like uh, different different sectors sub sector like uh, mining is actually doing pretty good uh, because mining is the backbone of like our Odisha economy and apart from that service sector uh, service sector is also doing good but more investment is required private investment is uh, uh, required but this 2021-2022 is actually uh, average estimation so that uh, revised estimation has not done so in case of road transport also more investment also required in case of service sector broadcasting and communication more private investment is also uh, re uh, necessary in case of real estate also there are more investments required but the other state like here in case of economic survey they have uh, taken for like three uh, consecutive years so so uh, so as you shown from the data that manufacturing se sector has contributed on an average 1.78 percent uh, for last 10 years so this is followed by trade 
repair hotel and restaurants. As expected, crop has not been the biggest contributor of gross value-added growth. So livestock through has the high potential could have contributed 0.1%. So, so to the agriculture sector, so the <coughs> agricultural sector, so the more investment should be given to the agriculture and allied activities from the point of view of actual private investment. Because uh, there are there are opportunities that in case of allied agriculture activities, FDI can come and perform well. That if we we'll see like developing countries. They are FDI in agriculture and allied activities also uh, um, performing well. Though it's, it's a matter of fact how the government is actually regulating the policy to educate. And so it will see that in the um, high in So in the next, uh, what I have seen that this analysis that in case of uh, like Odisha economy survey, they have taken two types of uh, like state. One is high income, another is neighboring state. That Haryana, Karnataka, Tel Telangana, and Kerala, there are high income states they have taken. Also, Jharkhand, Odisha, they have taken like never stood. So they are compared. So in that, they actually, why I have done it to have to have a feel actually what that empirical analysis is to do. So it will drive, it will give a basic idea how my empirical analysis uh, can be like uh, line with uh, and that. So, if, if, so here you can see that more emphasis is required in case of like uh, your, your uh, restaurant uh, um, hotels because if you see in that if you want to boost in the act actually tourism sector you need for private investment so outside was saying that if you want that uh, in odisha that odisha has a huge coastal belt uh, if if you, that coastal belt you can convert to the like uh, tourism not eco tourism like tourism and you can build a good hotels and it will it can actually generate more uh, revenue so that's why and the government is is not government is not able to do that only that they have giving the holding that it is the government of india but the thing 